guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so squishies. Squishies became very popular on YouTube around like three to four years ago. A lot of people started to remake squishy DIY squishies and Mariah Elizabeth started this remaking squishies and became very, very popular. I actually have been a squishy lover myself and I've been DIYing squishies ever since like four years ago. Hi guys, today I tried making a realistic looking donut stress ball and I became that squishy girl but in Japan. I would be on like TV, magazines. See, that's me. I actually have a book on how to make squishies but that's going to be a whole nother video. Anyway, squishies has also been my thing and today I'm thinking of making Inuyasha squishies. Oh my gosh, Inuyasha. I remember in another video, I told you guys that my favorite animes were Code Geass and Steins Gate, but I kind of take that back. I mean like aesthetic wise and story wise, I really recommend those animes, but there's no other anime that stole my heart so hard as Inuyasha. I used to be a huge Inuyasha fangirl and my whole room would be decorated with Inuyasha posters. And now there's a new series called Yasha Hime and I'm like, that brought back so many memories and I'm like, I just need Inuyasha squishy. Oh my god. So anyways, let's just get started. So without further ado, making Inuyasha squishy. Let's get started. Okay, so first off first, we need to get some squishies. I have a whole bin of squishies over there in my room. I'm thinking of making a shippo-chan squishy, so maybe something circly. Maybe a kirara squishy, so like a fox squishy. Um, let's just see what I have over there. Okay, here are some of my squishies. Let's see what I have. Okay, hmm, I could definitely use this one. Ooh, I can also use this one. This is a really big cheesecake squishy. Ooh. And one more. I'm looking for like a fox. I've got to have like a fox somewhere. Oh wait, look. Actually, I think this is perfect. So I think I'm going to be customizing these three squishies today. And let's go back to my room. So I'm going to be customizing these three squishies today. You can tell that it's all beat up. <laughs> the face is so cracked. And yeah, I think it's perfect for Kirara. Oh, look at all those cracks. I have this really big bread squishy. You can see there's like random smudges here and there. And it's actually really dull in person. Like, it's really dirty. And the last squishy. This squishy isn't that bad as the other squishies. But again, I've had this for like two years, three years. I think it's time for a change. Ooh, okay. I'm going to turn this into Kirara. I'm going to turn this into Nuyasha. And I'm going to turn this into shippo. So you know what? Let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm going to take off the chain on the top because I'm probably never going to put it on my bag or anything, so no use for the chain. Now I'm going to cut off the tail. And here it comes. So Kirara, I mean, if you don't know Inuyasha, she's like a fox-like dog-like monster, and she is so cute. She actually has two tails, so I cut off her tail and cut it into two parts. Then, I glued it back onto her using some normal glue you can get in Japan. It's kinda like Elmer's glue. Um, I will be using a lot of Japanese supplies, so it's kinda hard to explain, but this glue is used a lot for making squishies in Japan because it doesn't turn too hard after it dries. And then I'm going to wait for it to completely dry. Next up, I'm going to use something called joint cog. Okay, I really don't know what this is called in English. It's kind of like silicone. But I'm going to use this as the base for the squishies. So since the consistency is really thick, it can like fill up the gaps and holes. And since this cheesecake has a lot of bumps on the side, I mean, it's a really nice cheesecake squishy. It looks so realistic. But I don't need that anymore for my new squishies, so I'm going to cover it all up. This joint cock is actually like a great base for the paint to stick on, and also since it's white, it's easier to work with. 
Without this, I would probably need to paint over it a few times to make it opaque and cover up any discoloring, but this is basically like gesso for painting. Kind of? Just like a great base to work on. So I use this a lot. And I know I noticed my shirt today had like a splotch on, which is so embarrassing, but it's probably because of this. I don't mind getting all dirty when I'm working on something. Like look at all the water and paint on my arm and I'm like, I don't care. I just don't care. I've ruined so many shirts because of this. But anyways, I'm going to do the same thing for the fox squishy. Just painting it all over to smooth out the surface, any bumps, any cracks. And since the consistency is so thick, it will leave brush marks. So I use a lot of water to make it smooth. This part actually takes a long time to dry, so I'm going to put it aside and start working on my last squishy. So here I have my death note. Just kidding. Or am I? Okay, anyways, I'm going to be drawing Inuyasha as a chibi character. Chibi character, if you don't know, means like a really small cute character, where the character basically has a huge head and a small body. I usually only take like 10 minutes to 30 minutes tops for sketches, but this one actually took like an hour because the fangirl inside me kept yelling at me that it didn't look like Inuyasha. Okay, where should I begin? Literally, Inuyasha was like the only anime that I ever became so obsessed with. Like, I like a lot of animes, but Inuyasha just has a special place in my heart. Okay, so after my sketch was complete, I moved on to my iPad to color him in. I'm going to be using an app called Ibis Paint, which is actually free, and my iPad and my iPad pencil to draw him. Okay, while I loved Inuyasha, my favorite character was not actually any of the main characters. It's so funny even if I think back, but my favorite character back then used to be Bankotsu. Okay, whenever I say this to my friends, they're all like, wait, what? Who was he? He literally was probably only in like 2-3 to three books out of 56 books. But oh my god, I was literally in love with him. Oh, by the way, this app is free, but you would need to watch ads. And oh my god, um, this is awkward. <laughs> um, okay. You can customize your girl? That's interesting. Anyways, I don't know, I was like 10 back then. Now, if I were to choose a character, it's probably going to be Seshomaru. I was never the biggest fan of Inuyasha himself, because honestly, <laughs> am I gonna get hate? I didn't like how he would waver between the girls. I mean, like, come on, choose one. I mean, still, I loved all the characters, so my whole room was filled with Inuyasha posters. I bought an Inuyasha calendar and every month I would tear it off and then tape it onto my wall. Okay, I could go on forever about my love for Inuyasha, but for now, the front is complete. I'm just going to copy it and paste it and flip it over. I then changed it a bit and continued on with the other side. For this squishy I'm thinking of, I just need both sides. If you've seen my other videos, you would know what I'm trying to make. And now that I'm done with the drawing, let's move on to the next step. I'm going to be using something called tattoo paper. It comes with like white papers and these green sticky paper thingy. You're supposed to print the drawings onto the white papers with the silky side up. There's a right side for it, so be careful when you're printing and it should look something like this. Now you can peel off the green paper from the sticky thingy and carefully stick it onto the drawing. Using a ruler could help. And with any kind of tool, you would need to press it down really, really hard. Okay, this part actually looks easy, but this is the hardest part out of everything today. 
If you scratch it too hard, it will leave a mark. If you don't scratch it too hard, you can mess it up later on. After you're done, you can cut off the excess like so, but literally, it took me like 20 tries to get to this part. I just wanted to make it perfect, so I kept going back if I didn't like something. Now we're going to peel it off. It's so satisfying. I mean, I'm sure you guys know how water tattoos work. All you have to do is press it down, then use some water and tissue paper and wait for it to loosen up. After like a minute or two, hold your breath and slowly peel it off. And breathe. The paper should come right off, revealing a very nice drawing onto the squishy. So now I just got my cutter. Oh wait, this one's dull. With a nice cutter, I'm going to cut off the excess. After that, I just trimmed off the outer edge to make it smooth. And onto the back side. I'm basically going to repeat the steps and place the tattoo onto the squishy. Hold your breath. And breathe. Okay. I'm going to clean it up a bit. And again, I'm going to paint joint cock all over onto the side. This is going to smooth out the surface, and I just like it that way more. And then I'm going to wait for a whole day for the squishies to dry completely. Okay, so while we're waiting for them to dry, here are some of my squishies that I've remade so far. Not all, but some. Let's see what I have. These squishies used to be like a cat. It was like a cat squishy and I remade them into Disney Tsum Tsum squishies. These are my earlier squishies so I see some flaws here and there. A minion squishy. That's actually a phone case. And out of all of these, I think this is the oldest. It's like a cracker... Cracking squishy. I put a hairpin inside for it to make these cracking sounds. A Merida squishy. Detective Conan squishy. I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. And it's squishable. Okay, these are two squishies stuck together. This used to be like a bread squishy and I made it into like a cushion. These are all squishies that were so worn out by the way. So like a sleeping teddy bear squishy. A sailor moon squishy. This one used to be like a unicorn. I actually really like this one too. And here are all my animal crossing squishies. This one used to be like a bunny. A koala squishy and a bear squishy. I do have a lot more, so I may show you guys my DIY collection, maybe some other day. But okay, let's go back to the video. Now that the prepping stage is complete, we're finally ready to move on to the fun part, painting and decorating. After a day, it should look something like this, smooth and ready to be painted. For my shippo squishy, I'm going to paint it all pink. Um, if you don't know shippo, He's like a cute fox-like human-like monster, and he can change his form into this big pink balloon thingy. Again, so adorable, and that's what I'm trying to recreate today. But before that, I decided to paint his eyes with white paint. I mean, the white base is good enough as a base, but I see some color peeking through, so I'm going to add some white paint to places where I think is not fully covered. And then I filled him all up with pink paint. Then Kirara. I'm going to mix some yellow, brown, and white and color her all over with the base color. Oh by the way, I forgot to mention the paint I'm using are all fabric paint, not acrylic. Obviously if you use acrylic paint, it's going to harden and chip off later, not the best paint to use for squishies. I know it's popular to use puffy paint, but they don't sell those in Japan so I never really get to use them. You know, you gotta work with what you have in different countries. 
I'm going to put it aside for it to dry. And then moving on to Inuyasha. I'm going to color his sides with red. After like a few hours, we're finally ready to add the final small details. I'm touching up a bit here and there, and then added his eyes. But then I was like, oh my gosh, his eyes look kinda too dorky. So I repainted it white and decided to come back at the end. I'm going to be using some orange red for Kirara's eyes. I'm like moving it around so I'm sorry if it's hard to see. With my really tiny brush, I'm making the small details. I mean, I decided to use the fox squishy as the base and didn't really change the shape except for the tail, so it was kind of hard to find the right balance to make it look like the original. I thought the eyes turned out a little too small, so I actually repainted it and made it a bit bigger. It's like the slightest difference, but these tweaks do make a difference. By the way, I usually upload videos on Friday 5pm PST, which is 10am in Japan time. But I'm trying to upload like one more video if I have the time sometime during the week, and I'm still like experimenting when to upload. I did randomly upload one video this week, so if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. And a lot of you guys were worried if I'm working too much, and thank you guys so much, but my dream is to have a million subscribers. Which is kind of embarrassing to say, so don't forget to subscribe. Okay, just kidding, but I really want to be that person who achieves her dream by working hard. And not just by luck or any clubs. I mean, those are very important. And yeah, I just hope you guys like my videos. Anyways, I think we're almost done with our squishies. So after a few days, we are finally done. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Oh my god. <laughs> my teenage girl inside me is like fangirling so hard. I would have definitely bought these back then. Ooh. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. If there's any other characters you want to suggest, please comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!